plastery. Oh my god. It really is full. Oh. It's really windy. Oh my god. Um, I think there's some storms coming. I don't think it's the R bit. I don't know if I've got that right. Some storm's coming. It's going to hit Scotland. Uh, but we're going to get lots of wind. So, whew, it's not one thing, it's another, isn't it? Oh, for, but first, coffee. <laughs> oh. Oh, I hope you're all well. Uh, well, it's sunny. I mean, that's, that's nice. Not as busy as yesterday, but still fairly busy, you know, so-so. Um, Torn Dinton still alive, so it's, it's not unhappy about its move. Just check if I can see any signs of root growth, because I've, I've not actually looked closely. Not yet. I might add some water to that. I think Philip Reed, you said something about it should be very, you know, but I'm going to be using water in this case because I really want to um, do water propagation because it was successful with the rosemary and hopefully it will be a bit successful. Well, it seems to be okay with the um, Taunton Dean. But some of these I did cut in the wrong place, to be fair. I might actually chop that. I think that's got a feeling that's the one I didn't chop in the right place. I should have chopped it just below the node. Yeah, let's hope that's salvageable because it does look like it's going black, which isn't a good sign. Just be a bit smaller. What other one did I do that with? That's an I don't know if you can see, but yeah. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. I'm gonna get some bigger jar next time for these, so, just so that they're not sitting so low. I don't know. They'll be all right. They'll be all right. Hopefully. <laughs> anyway, slurp, slurp. do um i have all i i've lost um my council garden bags don't know where they are when the wind probably took them at the last time they were out because we can't find them in the garden did have four now have one that one is full which you saw me fill up and also pile up on top so i've ordered some but i'm not going to pick them up till tomorrow so there is a whole load of wood chip that I think I'm going to get in the wheelbarrow. Mm. And cut back the, um, start cutting back the, the, the raspberries in preparation for moving. And if I can fit it in, some strimming. None of, well, the raspberries are on the list. I was going to say none of these are on the list, but the raspberries are. Yeah, and getting wood chips, you've got to get it every time you see it, really. I'm not sure if it slows down over winter because maybe they don't do so much um, cutting of trees and whatnot. And I think that tree filling that they did yesterday, I think that's a lot of that wood, that wood the wood chip passed from that, which is really good. Oh, nice coffee. To my other mug. Oh, apparently it's microwave safe as well as dishwasher safe, which is fantastic. I just checked the blurb. I didn't realise. Mm, I'm warming up now. Yeah, the one wheelbarrow. Mm. busy it's just because they're right there I don't mind it being busy if they're just done with the other other end of the allotment <sighs> right 
let's go get some wood chip. See you in a bit. Wheelbarrow wood chip. Got that. So now I'm actually this area. I'm going to clear the grass around the raspberries before, and then that way I can. I'm able to cut them down and then dig them up to put in their new bed. So clearing that is a priority first. So that's what I'm going to start now. But it'll be on time lapse. See you in a bit. So surreptitiously filming, saying goodbye. I, I'll do the little insert here of um, how, I mean, it's, it's a start. It's not 100% cleared, um, but it's a good start. Oh, that's my alarm. Oh my God, it's all going off. <sighs> oh, I don't know what that was, it sounded like a jet. Thanks so much for watching everyone. I can't even see if you can see me. Um, yeah, take care <laughs> and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.